this experiment, you're going to need a large clear container with cold water in it, a small clear container with hot water in it. I couldn't find a clear one, so I've got a little measuring cup. Um, it doesn't need to be boiling water, just hot tap water will be fine. But as always, make sure that you ask an adult's permission and ask them to help, especially when you're dealing with hot liquid. And you're going to need some food colouring. I've got my little container with food colouring and hot water in. Just to show you my fingers, they are stained blue from doing this. The food colouring will stain your skin, your clothes, your carpets, your wallpaper. So please, please, please make sure that you've got an adult's permission and supervision before you do this experiment. If you don't want to see how it turns out before you have a go yourself, now is the time to pause the video. If not, keep watching and I will show you what happens. Right, so I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to pop it into the cold water and you can see straight away it does look like an underwater volcano. You can see the blue liquid is coming out and mixing with the cold. Now the reason that it's sitting at the top here and not coming down to the bottom is because of the hot water. Hot water, like air, hot air, will rise. Um, I don't know if you can see on the video, but you can see it's all dancing around inside the container while it's mixing with the cool water. The cool water's pushing it down and then it's floating back up inside the small container. Um, if you think back um, to the cold days in winter, if you live in a two-storey house, when you turn the heating on, you'll find that it will get warmer upstairs much quicker than it will downstairs. And that is because hot air will rise. So just like that, the hot water has risen up into the cold water and it's sitting here at the top. You can see at the bottom, it's still crystal clear because the hot, wa the hot water hasn't mixed with the cold water yet. Eventually, if you watch it for long enough, the hot water at the top will start to cool down with the cold water and it will start to descend into the rest of the glass. And here is my container several minutes later, once the water has had a chance to come to a temperature that's consistent throughout the bowl. I can still see the blue food colouring moving around, almost ca um, causing a current where it heats up, um, heats up at the top, cools down and then comes back down and then warms back up again and keeps going round and round. Um, but yeah, if you create your own underwater volcano, please share videos and pictures with everyone else on Google Classroom. You could also get some tin foil, put it over the top of the small container with a tight seal before you put it in, poke a hole in the top and it will um, leave the small container much slower and look even more like an underwater volcano.